Hello guys, welcome back to Code with Clinton and in this video I'm going to explain to you guys what you need to learn in Django to like become a master of it, understand? And in this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to Code with Clinton as I make Django related content on my channel as you can see. If you're not subscribed yet, please kindly subscribe. So as I was saying now in this video, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys what you need to learn in Django you need to, for you to master Django and start building real world applications. Understand? And the first thing, as you all know, you guys know Django already. That's why you're learning Django is a is a Python web framework that is used to build web applications. Understand? So now I'm going to tell you guys I'm going to tell you guys the basic. And the advanced things you need to learn to master Django and start building real world applications. You understand? And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please climb kindly click on the subscribe button you see on your screen. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe, please, and get me to a thousand subscribers. Can see I'm still on 600 and something. Please click on the subscribe button so I can get me to a thousand subscribers as fast as possible. Okay, the first thing you have to learn in Django is this like you know what is useful and the, what, what I'm going to recommend first what I'm going to say you're going to learn first is the views and the URLs understand you know what the views are so you are going from simple to advanced so you're going to talk about the views and the URLs you understand you know what the views are the F to return a template and the URLs the URLs F to return a kind of mapping to that view you kind of understand so we are going to learn first of the views what we have here and the second thing you learn is the URLs. Understand what we have up here. Just learn this too. It's very very simple. And the number two thing we are going to learn is templates. Understand Django template. This is just the HTML version. Understand. For example, what the browse the page you are on currently is a is a kind of template. The template that has been done by view. You understand. The template is the HTML you're going to put on the browser. The HTML piece of code. You understand. And that template is going to be done by view. Full of all then your views, then your URLs, then you go down to templates. And number three is the models. The models, the Django models is where you have your context. Always where you have your, your Django models is connected to the database. Understand? It helps to fetch. It helps you to like put some things in the database. Understand? And the views pick those things and display it on the templates. So what you're going to learn this is your what I call it, I call it the models, understand? the models and the admin, how to style the admin, how to structure the admin to fit, the, to fit what you are working on. The first one is your views and URLs, and the second one is your templates. The third one for now is the models. And so the next one I'm going to go into is the number four. The number four thing you need to learn in Django is the relationship in database. It's called database relationship and we have three of them. And before I proceed, I like I'll let guys go to this go down to the description to the description of this video and there's a bonus offer for you guys there a free um a free hosting plan from Blue Host for a year. You understand? Just go down there and use my link use my link to sign up and you're gonna get one year free hosting plan for a year. So, so as I was saying the fourth feature in Django is database relationship, and we have three of them. Number one, many to many relationship. Number two, many to one, and the number three, one to one relationship. So you need to know how to use relationship in constructing your Django models. Understand? You need to know how to use it. There are three of them: many to many relationship, the many to one, which is also known as the foreign key, and the one-to-one -one relationship is really really important in structuring your Django project and the next stuff we're going to go into is forms and model forms you understand the forms and model forms they help you to send data from the front end to the back end your forms your model forms and forms you need to know how to use this they are really really important your forms and the model forms you need to know how to use them very very well so now we're going to talk on static files and understand how to use static files so what i've mentioned before the views the urls the template the models and the database relationship with the model forms i only i have tutorials on my channel where you can learn them just come down to code cleansing and just browse through the contents i have on my channel you're going to find those tutorials you're going to find how to use 
how to how to make use of what I just mentioned. Understand that like the model forms, the static, the model forms, the views and URLs, the templates. I've made a lot of projects on my channel that has to use all these things I've mentioned earlier. Understand? You can come down here and check for content, and don't forget to subscribe after doing that. So we are going to go into static files. So next thing you're going to learn in Django, you need to learn how to use your static files. The static files helps to hold the CSS, the styles of your application, the JavaScript, the images you can see from here. You know to, you need to know how to configure static files in your Django project to make your website look beautiful. You understand? You need to configure static files. If you don't know how to use static files in my channel here, I made videos, tutorials, whereby we have to use static files to build something, to, to, be, to make something look beautiful. So go down to my channel, you're going to find tutorials where I used static files to to static files in Django very very well, you understand? So what I'm going to learn next is user authentication. Remember you're able to log in user, create accounts for user, you're able to log in and sign out of a website, you understand? So user authentication is very very important. Users can create an account, they can log in, you can authenticate them, log in them, log them in, sorry, sign them out after after this some time. You can restrict some actions. For example, if user is not logged in, you know allow them to see a particular page. And all those I've done on my channel, just down here, there's a video here called Django Login System. It's all about user authentication in Django. So we just go down to my channel if you're confused. And after that, you need to learn what we call signals in Django. How to use Django signals. And signals are kind of a feature in Django that helps to listen for events. If something happens, it helps to run a code. That we call signals in Django, understand? If something happens, it returns a it returns an action. For example, if a user creates an account on the website, it's gonna return an action of sending emails to them. Signals helps to listen for actions. You know, and signals are really, really, really important in Django. You need to learn how to use them. On my channel, I made a video recently on how to use Django signals. You can see it up here. So now, after learning, after using, after learning how to use signals, we are going to, so we are, we are going to move into more advanced features. For example, like building APIs with Django. So that's where Django REST framework comes in. Building APIs, RESTful services with Django is super important. As a Django developer, you need to know how to build restful services. You need to know how to build APIs with Django. So after you learn signal, you can come down here. Start learning how to build um, restful APIs. It's super, super important. And they have a good documentation that's going to guide you. I will put you, I don't know, hold your ends together as you go through it. It's going to really, really guide you. It's really, really comprehensive on its own. You understand? But you can still check out tutorials online to like, to learn more, you understand? So Django REST framework super super important. So now we're getting some more advanced features of Django. So after learning the Django REST framework, I'm gonna advise you to go and learn how to use channels in Django. Django channels is super important. This is wow, Django, Django channels is another another level entirely. This is what we call like whereby you're able to like go for a synchronous request. You're gonna be using web sockets now. You're not gonna be listening for you'll be listening for Whereby users, users, users are going to get a um, lead, they're going to get response without them requesting for it. And that's how Django channels work. It helps to like, it helps to like, it, it makes your website work real time, real time. Whereby, for example, on the website, you're able to get notification. I mean, you have a website that helps to return notification to users. Users don't need to even ask for those notifications. The, the notifications come to them real time from the server without them requesting, without them refreshing their browser or the server this comes to them real time Django channels is super important it, and Django channels uses the ASGI gateway interface for example the asynchronous asynchronous server gateway interface I think so but um, normally Django uses the WSGI which is the web server gateway interface but in Django channels it, everything changes to the ASGI whereby you are able to like get Data gets response real time. Everything works real time without any form of request from the from the user. I understand. You can learn how to use Django channels. It's really really important. For example, if you want to add in a chat feature on your, your website, a chat feature, a notification feature on your website, Django channels comes in so handy. It's going to guide you and hold you through. 
and making those things so possible, you understand? So I'm not telling you your Django channel, what you need to learn this is testing. So you need to know how to test your test what you build before putting it out before putting it out online to know how to test it to see if it's working very well. After you've learned Django channels, which is advanced Django, you need to know how to test your Django projects and see if it's working well before putting it out there on the internet. So after you might have learned how to test your Django projects, your Django application, you need to go down to internal inter look at it's called internal internationalization and localization is super important you can see what it says here it says that the goal of internal internationalization and localization is to allow a single web application to offer its contents in languages and formats tailored to the audience understand if you go to some websites you can see you can view that you can view the content of those websites in different languages whereby there's no restriction. Wherever you are from in the part or any part of the world, you, you can understand what is on that website because they are because it enables because this feature is enabled on it. So, so Django developer, you need to know how to use this internal internationalization and localization is super important. So that your website can so your, your websites or your, or your web application can go around the world. Whereby you can have more users because People from, people, people from different languages and different countries and different ethnic groups can come in there and be able to use the website, you understand? So internationalization and localization is super important in your Django website. This is advanced Django for you understand. So the Django developer needs to know how to use this, how to implement this on your website is super, super important. And before we call it the last one, you need to know how to secure your Django projects and it's not to do security on it and do the cross-site scripting how to add the middlewares the, the middlewares to avoid malicious users from coming in and hacking you need to know how to protect your foreign key or security key in the django admin so in the django settings of python you need to know how to protect that one your child the settings the set there's a settings in your in this there's a secret key in the settings of python of a django project you need to know how to protect it and see the CR, the CXRF protection. All these are super important. This SQL in the in injection, the click, the click jacking protection. It's not to secure your Django project. You just come down here or search online. You're gonna find how to secure your project before pushing it out on the internet. And standard the last one is fine. This is the last one here. Deployment. After you've done all this in your Django project, what you need to do next is deploy this project. Deploy it to the internet. And down here on my channel, I have seen some videos where I thought how to build and deploy a Django project. This is one of its build and deploy. This is a blog series. I built a blog from the ground up to deployment level. I have series of videos on my channel. You can see deploy Django on Eroco. This is you getting your Django project online. I have series of videos on my channel where you can learn how to build, how to deploy a Django project after you build it, how to deploy it on the internet, you understand? And don't forget I said that you can get one year free hosting plan from Blue Host. If you use my link in the description of this video, you're gonna get one year free hosting plan from Blue Host. After you've deployed your project, you want to get a host, a domain name, a unique domain name for your website, so you can so you can stand out am, amongst others in the world, you understand? So you're gonna go down to Blue Host. I have my link down in the description in the description of this video. You see and get one year free hosting plan from Blue Host. Understand? So we've talked a lot. We've talked about so many things. Need to learn English in to become a Django master. First one was need to learn how to use your views and URLs. Second one I mentioned was your templates. I talked on your models and database relationship forms and model forms. You need to know how to use this world. You need to know how to use your forms and your model forms correctly. We talked on static files, your HTML, your CSS, and your images. Your static file. We talked on user authentication. You able to log in user, but they able to create accounts. They are able to sign in and sign out. We talked on signals that you listen for events. If an event takes place, an action is going to occur. Instead, so for example, if a user creates an account on the website, an action of sending emails is going to get activated. You understand? We talked on the Django REST framework. Remember, you say building APIs with Django. We talked on Django channels. Remember, you're able to perform. you're able to perform asynchronous activities using WebSockets. 
Django signals enables you to perform asynchronous activities on your website using WebSocket. We talked on testing, testing your application before you push it out there online. We talked on internationalization, whereby your website is able to communicate to the whereby your website can communicate to different people around the world. We talked on security, so to, to prevent the bad guys from coming in, you need to secure your Django project so, so, so you can prevent the bad guys from coming in, the malicious guys from coming in. You need to protect your Django project. Security is super, super vital in any website you find online. So now I'm talking about deploying your Django project. Yes, after building all, after building all this stuff, after building, you need to know, you need to know how to deploy your project is super super easy and simple and i've made series of tutorials here in my channel on how to use all these features just go down to code with clinton on youtube and browse to my content you're gonna find some interesting content on how to use all those features i didn't even talk about i didn't i didn't talk about how to create a virtual environment it's really really important also your emv file you sending emails just go on the COVID clean scene. You're gonna find awesome content on my channel where you can start learning from there instead. So that's what I'll do. We're gonna call this a day. So we meet in the next tutorial video. Where I'm gonna show you how to build something, how to create something in my next video. So thank you for staying with me on this and please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and tell me what you don't like about my video in the comment section. What you don't like about this video, tell me what you don't like about it, and tell me what you like about it. In the comment section now let's hear from you guys so thank you thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next video